Confirmed local coronavirus cases remain at five. UN unveils a two billion US dollar humanitarian support package for poor countries tackling the disease. And the Maine City Council begins a public sanitation exercise. It's Wednesday, March 25, 2020. Let's tell you what's happening. The Ministry of Public Health has made it clear that the number of confirmed cases here in Guyana remains at five as the government continues to ensure that systems are put in place to stop the spread locally, several persons are under mandatory quarantine and isolation by the ministry. Minister of Public Health, the Honorable Valder Lawrence, giving an update on COVID-19 locally, said that with rising numbers in new infected cases and deaths globally, mandatory quarantine and isolation has been recommended for a few persons in Guyana. We have a number of persons quarantined by the Ministry of Public Health under mandatory quarantine, there are nine such persons. And the number of persons put in mandatory isolation by the Ministry of Public Health is four. The number of persons interested, of interest to us that are being followed nationally is one person. From a process of contact training, there were at least seven persons of interest, but after assessments, she said there is only one such person still on the watch. The minister also explained that persons who would have been quarantined or isolated will undergo psychosocial support from the mental health unit as part of the ministry's response to the impact of COVID-19 locally. The ministry's response, eight pillars set out by the World Health Organization, is as follows. The Health Emergency Operations Center, the HEOC, continues to implement the National Strategic Plan, meeting every 48 hours for updates, in an effort to monitor the COVID-19 situation to mitigate the spread of the disease. Regional preparedness is also ongoing. Also, there is an adequate supply of testing kits and the PPEs for our medical personnel. Meanwhile, heavy emphasis is being placed on preventative measures with the most touted being social distancing. The ministry now intends to provide the nation with daily updates concerning the coronavirus via a live broadcast which will be streamed through the Public Health Ministry's page and the National Communications Network. Let's tell you that this morning, the United Nations unveiled a U.S. $2 billion humanitarian six-point action plan to support developing countries that are combating the deadly COVID-19 virus. With some 375,498 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and more than 16,000 deaths around the world, the United Nations on Wednesday morning said it is gravely concerned about the impact the pandemic is having on poor countries that have weak health systems and vulnerable populations. In its No One Left Behind approach, the United Nations reported the launch of U.S. $2 billion action plan to help those poor countries. Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the interagency plan brings together the World Health Organization and the UN partners. Properly funded, it will save many lives and arm humanitarian agencies and NGOs with laboratory supplies for testing and with medical equipment to treat the sick while protecting healthcare workers. The plan also includes additional measures to support those communities that continue to generously open their homes and towns to refugees and displaced persons. With only a small number of such countries so far reporting cases of COVID-19, the UN said it expects the numbers to rise. According to the Secretary General, these are countries that are already facing humanitarian crises. Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Adhaman Ghebreyesus, said now is the time for solidarity in the face of the global threat. As you know, the pandemic has accelerated over the last two weeks. And while COVID-19 is a threat to people everywhere, what's imo most important, most worrying is the danger the virus poses to people already affected by crisis. People and communities that are already uprooted due to conflict, displacement, the climate crisis or other disease outbreaks are the ones we must urgently prioritize. 
The UN Secretary General said the intergovernmental organization is doing its utmost to plan and respond to early recovery in countries around the world that will need the most help. For InfoHub, I am Kellon Rover. Locally, the Georgetown Main City Council commenced its public sanitation exercise to safeguard against the spread of the COVID-19 virus. This exercise is aimed at slowing the spread of the pandemic COVID-19. This initiative, led by Director of Solid Waste, Walter Narine, is being carried out via a collaborative effort with the Guyana Fire Service. The areas targeted on Wednesday morning included Border Market and the streets in the vicinity of the Kitty Camerville bus park. The sanitation was done using water that contained 10% bleach and 10% jace fluid. It's just a small step towards trying to arrest the spread of this virus. It stays on plastics for three days, and that's some research, um, some research that came out, um, and on roads and wood and supply for the On Thursday, Narayan noted that the exercise will be extended to Water Street and in front of Starbrook Square. However, the Director of Solid Waste is seeking the support of the business community to keep the exercise going. I will try to encourage um, you know, our business partners, if you have the Jace Fluid or you have bleach that you can donate to the municipality, it will go along with towards our sustainability of this, this um, exercise because it cannot be something that we've done one day, two days, it has to be continuous because you never know, you never know what could happen, right? And we have to practice safe hygiene and this is one way of our municipality is trying to do its part. Isaiah Brofitt for InfoHub. Additionally, the Main City Council has advised that the Starbuck Market will be closed to the public on Thursday, March 26, 2020. This is to facilitate the city's public health department sanitization of the market and its immediate environs. Therefore, stallholders and vendors will not be permitted to conduct business for the day. The exercise will also be extended to the border of Boyston Kitty and East Rhinevelt markets. In this regard, the council is seeking the full cooperation of all vendors, stallholders and the citizens. The Main City Council notes the importance of it to employ the necessary precautionary measures to safeguard the health, safety and well-being of the citizenry. <clears throat> when the news returns, we share some tips on how to keep your children occupied while they're at home and what you need to do to secure your NIS medical benefits during this time. Details after the break. Stay with us. Thanks for staying with us. So children being at home during this period, the question now is, how do you keep them occupied, productive and engaged? Here are some quick tips. Even though school is out, learning will not stop. The Ministry of Education has put measures in place to ensure students can continue learning while at home. Persons can visit the Ministry of Education's website at education.gov.gy to access NGSA practice test papers in the four core areas. You can also tune into the Guyana Learning Channel on Channel 42 or Cable 29 to access nursery programs, which run from 600 hours to 900 hours, primary programs from 900 hours to 1200 hours, documentary from 1200 hours to 1300 hours, and secondary programs from 1300 hours to 1500 hours. They can also continue to listen to the radio broadcasts of the interactive radio instruction from grades one to three daily. The timings are, Grade 1, 9 30 hours to 10 100 hours. Grade 2, 10 30 hours to 11 100 hours. And Grade 3, 1300 hours to 13 30 hours. These are also aired on the following radio stations Radio Madia, Bartica, Esequibo, Mabaruma, and Lethem. Parents and children can also continue to listen to broadcasts to schools for grade 3 to 6 at 1300 hours daily on NCN Radio. There are lots of online resources for students with internet access, which provides fun learning in areas such as STEM, reading, fine arts, social studies, history, spelling and grammar, foreign languages and other study areas. All of these services have been made free and easy to use with 
you in mind. AmazingEducationResources.com, StoriesAudible.com, YouTube.com, and PBSLearningMedia.org are just a few of the online resources available for your children. For InfoHub, I am Kellen Rover. For persons concerned about how the National Insurance Scheme, or NIS, is dealing with COVID-19, please note that once a person is advised to go into quarantine or self-isolate for 14 days, the NIS must honor it. However, the scheme is advising that the following steps be taken. Such a request must emanate from a duly registered practitioner who must also inform the Public Health Ministry of those cases in writing. The NIS reserves the right to reject any such case if the Ministry of Public Health is not informed. The NIS will also do the necessary verification with the Ministry of Public Health. There is currently no vaccine to prevent the coronavirus or COVID-19. However, you can protect yourself and help to prevent spreading the virus to others if you practice, along with other measures, washing your hands regularly for 20 seconds with soap or water or an alcohol-based hand rub. Learn more in our final report. It is important to know that respiratory viruses like COVID-19 spreads when mucus or droplets containing the virus gets through the body, either through your eyes, your nose, or your throat. More often, it happens through your hands. It is one of the most common ways that the virus spreads from one person to the next. So, during this global pandemic, one of the cheapest, easiest, and most important ways to prevent the spread of the virus is to wash your hands frequently with soap and water. But a quick scrub and rinse won't cut it. Here is how it should be done. Wet hands with running water. Apply enough soap to cover wet hands. Scrub all surfaces, including back of hands, between fingers and under nails, for at least 20 seconds to ensure full coverage. Rinse thoroughly with running water. Dry hands with a clean cloth or a single-use towel. From Starbrook Square with a videographer Kareem Peters, Felicia Valenzuela, InfoHub. The following is an important message from the Ministry of Public Health. You can prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. If you have the following symptoms, coughing, fever, or difficulty breathing, please stay home. If you don't have these symptoms, then practice social distancing. Avoid crowds. When in a group, keep a distance of at least three feet between yourself and other persons. Please wash your hands with soap regularly or use hand sanitizers. The Ministry of Public Health has a hotline to provide information on the coronavirus. Members of the public can call 227-4986 or 624-3067. That's all for today. Connect with us on our social media platforms, including WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, as we bring you the latest and important news related to COVID-19 and much more. Also, subscribe to our website, dpi.gov.gy. Your bridge and weather reports are up next. Stay safe. Do your part to ensure that you do not put yourself at risk during this time. And remember to take your necessary vitamins. Goodbye for now.